Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, I wanna cover eight shocking stats about the relationship between sleep and your weight. And I am convinced that sleep issues were holding me back and they were a big part of the problem when I was the man that you see in this picture here, right? Over 400 pounds, countless health problems. Sleep was a huge part of the problem. And I'm also convinced that sleep is holding you back as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna cover these in more detail later. So I'm just gonna give you kind of a quick overview just to show you how important sleep is to your weight and to losing weight. But let's go ahead. So number one, you see here this study, Sleep Duration and Obesity in Adulthood, an updated systematic review and meta-analysis. Long story short, this study found that you have a 55% increased risk of being obese if you sleep less than six hours per night. That's number one. Number two, impaired insulin signaling in human adipocytes after experimental sleep restriction, a randomized crossover study. So adipocytes are fat cells. So number two, you are 39% more likely to be insulin resistant if you sleep only 30 minutes less than you should. So if you're sleeping six and a half hours per night instead of seven, 39% more likely to be insulin resistant. Why does that matter? Insulin resistance makes you a fat storing machine. We wanna be fat burning machines, not fat storing machines. Number three, the effects of insufficient sleep on circadian rhythmicity and expression amplitude of the human blood transcriptome. The transcriptome is just how your genes operate, how they're being expressed. So the key thing this study found is that if you're sleeping 5.7 hours per night, that changes the expression of 711 genes compared to sleeping eight and a half hours per night. It means that you are not really you if you're not getting enough sleep because your DNA is what makes you you and your genes are not being expressed the way that they should. Number four, the effects of partial sleep deprivation on energy balance, a systematic review and meta-analysis. This study found that if you're sleeping four hours per night, it increases your energy intake by 385 calories per day. That would be 140,525 calories per year, and that's the equivalent of 40 pounds of fat. So you're going to be eating more if you're sleeping less. Number five, sleep restriction alters plasma endocannabinoid concentrations before but not after exercise in humans. So number five is basically saying being tired gives you the munchies, right? Cannabinoids are what THC is, which is found in marijuana and people associate marijuana use with the munchies. Well, your body makes your own cannabinoids called endocannabinoids and sleeping 4.25 hours per night increases the concentration of these endocannabinoids by 80% compared to sleeping eight and a half hours per night. This leads to a 25% increase in hunger. So again, another reason why we're eating more if we're sleeping less. Number six, resting metabolic rate varies by race and by sleep duration. So number six, sleeping four hours per night decreases your metabolic rate by 2.6%. So that may not sound like a huge number, but if your metabolic rate is 2000 calories per day, a 2.6% decrease is 52 calories per day. That would add up to 18,980 calories per year, which is almost five and a half pounds of fat. Number seven, eating breakfast and avoiding late evening snacking sustains lipid oxidation. So lipids are fats and oxidation means fat burning, basically. So number seven says that people that eat late at night burn 15 fewer grams of fat per day. So again, it doesn't sound like a huge thing, only 15 grams per day, but that's 5,475 grams per year of fat that you're not burning. And that's over 12 pounds per year of fat. Number eight, last but certainly not least, insufficient sleep undermines dietary efforts to reduce adiposity. So, so far we've been talking about why you're gonna be gaining fat because you're eating more and your metabolic rate has dropped. This study shows how hard it is to lose fat if you're not sleeping well. So people that sleep eight and a half hours per night, they lose 2.33 times more fat and 1.6 times less lean mass like muscle when they're on a diet. So this one study should be all the reason you need to take your sleep very seriously while you're on a diet. Because if you're gonna be losing weight, you wanna make sure that you lose as much fat as possible and as little lean mass like muscle as possible. I always say you're better off losing nothing than losing muscle because muscle is a huge part of your metabolic rate. 
All right, so you are you starting to see how all these little things are adding up to a huge problem, right? I'm not here to promise you that you can sleep your way to a six pack abs, but it is impossible to deny looking at this research that getting better sleep will help you on your weight loss journey. I have well over a hundred idea, ideas to share soon about how you can get better sleep. We will figure out your sleep issues together. And hopefully you are a success story just like me. You see here, I lost uh, 49 pounds in 10 weeks, 101.2 pounds in six months, and 165 pounds per year. And I can promise you that sleep played a huge role in my success. I can't wait to help you. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.